Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to password protect your sensitive data. There are many ways in which you can do this. Probably the easiest one is this one. You, let's suppose this is my sensitive data folder with that one picture that I want no one to see. Uh, I can just right click on the folder, then go to the properties, advanced, click here to encrypt contents to secure data. Okay, okay. Apply the changes and that's it. You see that the name is now green. If I go inside, the name of the file is also green. It means that it's encrypted. Now, it's encrypted, but even though the information will not be accessible to other users, it is still easily accessible with my users. If this computer is unlocked with my username, and let's say I go to the bathroom I for and I forget to lock the computer, then someone else can just double click here and access the information. Or someone could just easily right click here and go to properties advance and undo the changes and this is no longer encrypted so you see this is probably not the best way to protect your information now the way I do it with my personal information that I want no one to see what I do is I create a virtual hard drive and then I encrypt the whole hard drive let me show you how it's done uh, first of all I'll create the hard drive you just go to start here create uh, type create partition and go to the create and format hard disk partitions so this will open the disk management tool here what we will do is just click here on action and create an, a VHD which is a virtual hard drive the virtual hard drive will actually be a file you see I'll put this new file that we'll be creating here in this folder this will be my my disk right uh, the size, let's say, I, I can choose whatever size, as long as I have free space in this folder. Uh, but let's say, for the sake of the demonstration, that I need 100 megabytes. Uh, use the fixed size, I mean, the dynamic thing will not work for encrypted files. Go with fixed and create it. Now, for this to work, you just have to click here and click on the initialize disk thing. Okay. And then finally, create a new simple volume next next choose the whatever letter you wanted to have next 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 yes whatever and there we go so now we have a new file as you see the, the file is there but more importantly the volume is there so if I go here I can start putting all my information in here Let's say I want my sensitive data to be there inside the new volume, the new drive. So now what I'll do is use BitLocker. Just up here, BitLocker. See, BitLocker. To encrypt the whole drive. See, I'll turn on BitLocker. I'll use a password. Now, only I'm the only one who knows the password, so... Now, for security purposes and to be able to recover the information in case in case of having problems like forgetting your password, for example, you can either print the recovery key, which is a, a long key that generate is generated by BitLocker, or save it to a file. I prefer to save it to a file and then send it to myself via email. So there's a lot of warnings here saying that this file should not be found by anyone else just click on start encrypting uh, the bigger the drive you created the longer it will take to encrypt but this is only done the once the first time the encryption takes place so that's it the, the drive is now encrypted so I, and I can close this and you see that there's a, a, key, a, a padlock icon over here it means that the whole thing is encrypted with my sensitive data inside so once I put all my sensitive data inside this volume, what I'll do is just go back to the disk management tool and I'll detach the virtual hard drive. I'm only detaching, okay? Just do not click on the delete thing, just, just detach. Mm -hmm. So that's it. You see, the, this is no longer here there is still a file here now this file contains everything but it is encrypted so even if someone has access to this file as long as they don't have access to the key 
thing here, right? Remember, this file should be emailed to myself and then and then delete it. Mm. As long as no one knows my password, there's no way they can access the information inside the virtual drive. Now, whenever I need access to the virtual drive again, I'll just open the disk management tool again, go to attach BHD, find where the file is, open, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, automatically, BitLocker will ask me to my password. As long as I don't enter the password, this drive will remain locked, you see? And I have no access. Only by entering the password, I can unlock the, the virtual drive and access to my sensitive data. So that's the way I encrypt my sensitive data. I hope you find this useful. Leave your questions or comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day.